I want to play a game. Welcome to Make It Happen, Dia de los Muertos in Halloween. Hey, nigga, what's up? Today we are going to commemorate Dia de los Muertos and Halloween, my two favorite holidays in the world. First, clean your face and body with baby wipes. We are going to need Halloween makeup. You can use bars or creams. The main color we are using is white as a foundation, but you also might need some blue, green or one of your favorite colors like purple or orange. I'm using creamy Halloween makeup because it's easier to spread and it dries faster. I suggest you to put it in your hands and then spread it all over your skin. You don't have to spend a lot of money on this. You can get all this makeup at the 99 cent store or at Waldo's or with the Chinese. Make sure to cover your arms, ears, neck, shoulders, elbows, etc. That will give you the look of a real zombie. For this transformation, we are using liquid latex to create dimension on the face and some scars. You can apply the liquid latex directly on your skin and place it in different parts of your body to create the look. Apply one layer and let it dry for one or two minutes. Then you can apply another one and so on. I suggest you to do this in front of an AC or a fan. You can be sure your latex is completely dry by touching it a little bit. While you wait for your liquid latex to dry, you can do your nails in scary colors. Now we are going to use a little bit of blue Halloween makeup and apply it all over our white layers and latex. For this kind of makeup you don't have to be extremely precise, you can put it all over your body and go loco. After you let that blue layer dry, we are going to apply some green Halloween makeup to create dimensions and shades. Make sure every layer of makeup is completely dry so your transformation lasts forever all night long. After you applied the layers of white, latex, blue and green, we are going to apply a little bit of natural base. For the next layer you need a product called foundation. You can borrow your sisters, mothers or girlfriends or you can get it at any supermarket. The idea of this layer is to bring back a little bit of human inside that zombie. For the second layer of foundation, I suggest you to use a makeup sponge to blend those colors in your face. Put it on your scars and in the parts where you applied the latex before. The idea of this layer is to bring back a little bit of human inside that zombie.
Now we are going to use a lot of translucent powder to seal off those layers of zombie makeup. If you don't have translucent, you can also use baby powder. Cover all your layers of makeup with powder to make it last longer. For the next part, we are going to use a red lip light. Use the liner on your eyes for the sick looking appearance. For the next step, we are going to use black eyeshadow. I suggest you to use a real makeup brush so you can blend in the colors and make it look real. Paint very strong and dark circles on your eyes. You can use a regular eyeshadow palette to create a dimension in your scars. I'm using purple, black, red and brown shadow to make it look nasty and infectious. Apply those colors around your facial bones and scars. To complete the look, we are going to add some yellow scary contacts. I found mine at the market for less than $15. Remember to wash your hands and do this carefully. You can hurt your eyes or get an infection. For this look, you don't have to spend any money in your costume. You can use any old shirt and rip it off. I have already ripped off mine. So I'm using it to clean up the excess of makeup on my hands and face. Use some regular scissors to cut up your costume. And my favorite part, the blood. I suggest you to pull your head back and start applying the fake blood on your hairline. Let the blood drops fall all over your face and costume. This will make it look more shocking. Put on your costume and add some more blood stains on it. Retouch the dark circles around your eyes and any other shadow you think it's necessary. Put on some black eyeliner on your teeth to make them look rotten. Put on some fake blood on your lower lip and let it drip. Use some baby powder on your hair to make it look old and dusty. And there you are, transform into a zombie! <laughs>